Bloom's Brood. Although Mama and Papa Bloom failed in their attempt to beat Mr. and Mrs. Fink to Hollywood, they at least will have the satisfaction of being Grandma and Grandpa before Harold's mother and father. Right now, the excitement of the announcement has worn off a little, and we find Mama and Papa at home. Hmm. Isn't that wonderful, Jack? Grandma and Grandpa. Mm, yeah, Becky. <laughs> Sometimes I can hardly believe it. Hmm. Our little grandson. Mm, Jake, it might be our granddaughter. Hmm? Well, maybe... Jake, are you sitting there pretending that you know it'll be our grandson? No, Mama, no. <laughs> Didn't I say maybe? Mm. Maybe they'll give it my name, huh? Little Jacob Bloom. Little Jacob Bloom. <laughs> maybe it'll be little Rebecca Bloom. All right, so then I'll still be happy. You know, Mama, one like you in the world ain't enough. There should be more people just like you. Do you think so, Jake? No, I think so. Mama, I know so. For 25 years, I thought so. Together, we'd have our ups and our downs. We lived in one little room before things was better, and you helped me. You sewed and you cooked, and sometimes you pressed the knee pants when the iron and the little shop wouldn't work. Mm, I ain't forgot, Mama. No, Jay. And I ain't forgot the time you sold the first bunch of knee pants. Seven dollars and forty-two cents profit you made. Seven dollars and forty-three cents, Mama. Hmm. I got a better price on the buttons than I thought mm, I would. So what's the difference? I remember that we went to Coney Highland, and we had a good time on just a little bit. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, Papa. We come a long way from then. Are you sorry we come a long way, Mama? Sometimes. You know something, Mama? So am I. Sometimes. <laughs> you know, just for the fun of it, sometimes I wish I was back in that little shop, making knee pants with my own hands, while Sam was trying to sell them to the customer. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you voice them until very late in the morning, Jake. And then I'd bring you coffee and something to eat. Yeah. And you would stay there with me until I finished, and then you'd watch the shop while I slept a little while. Mm -hmm. Ah, Mama, I like to think about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jake. Yes, Mama? Where did you meet Ida Goldfarm? Well, I met... Mama! Why did you have to bring her up? I didn't, Jake. She just brought herself up. But she couldn't have. She wasn't anywhere around the conversation. You and me were in the little shop all by herself. And all of a sudden, Ida Goldfarm comes in. Jake, don't be so aggravated. I'm only thinking about her because she's part of the whole fans. It's like when you think of strawberries, you think of cream. When you think of blintzies, you think of sour cream. When you think of eggs, you think of... No, we shouldn't think of that. But all the same, I want to know where you met Ida Goldfarb. But why, Mama? What difference does it make 25 years later? It's no difference, Papa. I'd just like to know. <laughs> I'm getting curiosity like I can. All right. All right. If you'll be quiet about Ida Goldfarb, I will tell you that I met her one night when I'm visiting Sam's folks. She was there. Now, that's all. Papa, she wearing? What was... <laughs> what? Mama, have I got a memory like an elephant? Jake, don't be foolish. A elephant is an animal, so how can you be like one? Can... Never mind, Mama. Never mind. But I don't know what Ida Goldfarb was wearing when I met her. All I know is that we are off the track from what we were talking about before. Ida Goldfarb is right on the track, Jake. But we won't talk any more about no, it. That's good, Mama, that's good. <laughs> ah, you know, I'm glad we're not leaving the business altogether. Even if it was just a little tiny shop again, I would still like it because... And because it... Uh, the, it's... Uh, uh, Mama, what, what do I want to say? Uh, <laughs> Jake, should I take off the top from your head to see what it is you're thinking about? Maybe you want to say that the knee pants business is... Uh, uh, well, it's uh, just what you're thinking. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> ah, I wish I knew how to say it. Never mind. We both know what you mean, so why should we find words to put around it? Mm. The knee pants business is part of me. 
Mama, 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 I said it, I said it. <laughs> I know it, but all the time I knew what you were thinking. <laughs> so we're both happy, very happy. I got you in the knee pants business, Sarah and Yetta. Harold and Sydney. I am trying to keep happy, Mama. Don't mention them too many times. They are very nice. I know that. Um, well, <laughs> it's getting dark, Mama. Maybe we'd uh, better turn on the light, huh? Yeah, that's right. Ah, that's another thing. <laughs> Twenty-five years ago, we had gas mantles to light. Now, we just press our button. Uh-huh, like this. Jake, nothing happened. It's still dark. The, the lamp must be busted. Uh, never mind, Mama. I'll fix it. Jake, call the man who fixes but it. But why should I? So he can fix it, Jake. Should we call him to eat here? Uh, Mama, I will fix it. It'll only take just one little minute. Hmm. In the old days, if the mantle was busted, we knew what was the matter. <laughs> we can tell about these things. Jack, stop poking your fingers in the lamp. Do you want to get elocutioned? Electrocuted, Mama. But don't worry, I can fix it. All right, Jack, all right. All oh, right, uh, I'm afraid I'll have to go in the basement. Maybe there's something wrong with that little thing that goes in the floor. Papa, be careful, huh? Your knee pants make a nada genius. It's all right, Mama, it's all right. Here, I'll light the big lights a while. <clears throat> and so, you wait here, Becky, and I'll see what's the matter. Where else should I go? Hurry up, Jake. All right, Becky. Yeah, and while you're going that way, answer the doorbell. Uh, all right. <laughs> Oh, Bob. Hello, Mama, here's Sarah. Hmm. Shouldn't I know my own daughter's voice? Hello, darling. Hello, Ma. Sit down. Jake, uh -huh. fix the lamp. Uh -oh. oh, sure, sure, Mama, I forget. What's uh -huh. the matter? Yeah. Papa's going to fix the lights in the lamp. Why don't you call the electrician? Sarah, I don't know, except that now that your pop is retired, he likes to be doing things. Where's Sydney? Oh, at the office. At this time of the night, half past around seven? Well, he said it was something important, and he might drop in later. Mm, good. And so? Oh! All the lights are out now. Oh, so Papa wanted to fix the lights in the lamp. <laughs> One little light he had to fix, so all the rest of them are out now. <laughs> I'd better get the electrician. Yeah, darling, go ahead, call him on the phone. Jake! Jake, I'll be owls up here. Well, I fixed it, Becky. Now you can turn on the lights. You don't have to sit in the dark. No. <laughs> Jake, press the button on the wall. Sure, sure. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Yeah, mm-hmm. So, Jake... <laughs> You fix the lights, Such yeah? Such a place. All the lights go out. Ever since we lived here, they're all right. Now, all of a sudden, we got to sit around in the dark like we was, uh, like we was telling spoof stories. It's okay, Ma. Electrician will be here in a couple of minutes. Becky, why did you call the electrician? Because when I'm ready to go to bed, I'll turn off the lights. But before that, I'd like to see what I'm talking about. All right, Mom. All right. So I made a little mistake. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just a little one. Uh, Sarah, uh, there's Sydney. Working at the office. <laughs> That's good. Uh, what? He's working at the office. At half past seven? Sarah, so what's the matter? Tell oh, me. Oh, now, Pa, don't be that way. He just had something important to do, so he stayed late. He'll be here. But but why should he come here? <laughs> pa, I don't know. He said he'd stop in later. That's nice, darling. I want that you should come to see us often. Pretty soon your pop and me will be gone. Oh, <laughs> that must be Sydney uh, now. I'll answer it. Papa, you shouldn't be that way when you hear that Sydney's being ambitious at the factory. You should be glad. Mama, I can't be glad when Sydney is being ambitious. Sydney's never made a mistake, has he? Not yet. But all the time he's not making mistakes. He's saving them up for one big one. Papa, that's foolish. Why should anybody save mistakes? I don't know. But if it's something that nobody else does, Sydney will do it sooner or later. <laughs> it wasn't Sydney. It was uh, the electrician, and I sent him down to the basement. Ah, that's good, Sarah. Soon we'll be able to see again. Yeah. Well, that has to be Sydney. Good, good. Answer the bell. Answer the bell. Yeah. All right, Bob. Can't run through the dark, though. Be careful, Sarah. Don't bump into something. I can't understand what made the lights go out, Mom. Papa, that's our griddle. Anybody could answer. Uh, the lights went out because you fixed them so they would light. You see? Not in the dark, I don't see. Hmm, Papa, don't make smart cracks. Not even in the dark. <laughs> Hello, everyone. What's the idea of the dark? Hello, Sidney. You better sit right down until the lights get fixed. Well, I will as soon as I introduce the guest I brought. Oi, have you got company? Company we can't even see. Uh, here, I'll light a match. Uh, Ma, this is Mr. Grenville. Uh, this is my mother-in-law, Mrs. Bloom. I'm very pleased to meet you. Thank you, Mrs. Bloom. I've heard quite a bit about you. Oh, that's nice. And, uh, <laughs> and this is Mr. Bloom, my father-in-law, Pa, Mr. Grenville. <laughs> Excuse the dark, Mr. Grenville. Ouch. Oh, did you burn yourself? <laughs> oh, it's all right. Well, little accidents like this make life worthwhile. It won't be too inconvenient to sit in the dark until the lights go on again. No, there's a man downstairs now fixing them. I've got a chair right here. Uh, Pa, uh... Mr. Grenville wants to talk to you. Uh, to me? What about? Uh, I'll let Mr. Grenville tell you. Mr. Bloom, you're a businessman, and so am I. Yeah. What business are you in, and how is it? Very good. Oh. But there's just one little thing that worries us. Uh-huh. You see, Papa, you're not the only one who worries about business. <laughs> oh, indeed, Mrs. Bloom. But, Mr. Bloom, I'm going to put my cards right on the table. 
But you can't reach it from there in the dark. Ma, please. What's the matter? Uh, Mama, please, please, let me handle it. <laughs> uh, go ahead, Mr. General. Go ahead. You're, you're, you're coming to something. I am. And I'll say it right away, Mr. Bloom. I want something you've got. Something I've got? Yes. Your factory. You... What? That's right, Pa. Mr. Grenville wants to enlarge his factory. He wants to take over ours. No. No, no, no. I'll consider any fair price, Mr. Bloom. No, I can't. Not the factory, but... Knee pants business and all. The, the, the knee pants business? Lock, stock, and barrel. Now, what do you say? Shall we talk price? Price? I, no. No, I couldn't. Not without Sam. Well, Sam said the same thing about you, Pa. He wanted Mr. Grenville to talk with you but about I, it. But, uh, Sidney, I, I can't. Mr. Grenville, I, I should have to think it over. Yeah, real hard. Maybe for weeks, maybe for months. I understand, <laughs> and I'll drop around your office tomorrow, and we'll have a little chat. I don't expect you to rush right into this, but I put it bluntly because I saw no use in beating around the bush. Oh, there the light. <laughs> oh, good. Now, uh, Mama... There's Mama. Well, I didn't hear her go out. Oh, I'll go find her. Oh, no, Pa, you stay here. I'll see where she is. You, well, all right. Now, Mr. Bloom, we yes. can't say any more about this tonight because uh, I realize it's a big question for yes. you to decide. But in the morning, we'll have a long talk. Who is it? Sally, Ma. Come in, darling. Why, Ma, I... Oh, Ma, what's the matter? Matter? I don't know. Why, darling, you're crying. Why did you leave? I didn't want to sit down there and cry. But I don't understand. Why are you crying? I don't know. I have a idea why I'm crying, but I ain't sure. Please tell me, Ma. We didn't do anything or say anything, did we? No, darling. No, nothing like that. But when that man said he wanted to buy the, the factory... I couldn't help crying. But why? Darling, someday you'll understand. Right now you're too young to know that old people like your pop and me, we are used to things that happened a long time ago. And when, when something happens that might take them away, then we... Sarah, darling, it would be just like losing a little piece of your life. Thank you.